There are major changes during the development of the embryo in the fourth week. It is the beginning of organogenesis where specific tissues and systems are starting to differentiate from the trilaminar embryo. On the surface of the embryo, limb buds and sensory placodes appear. The sensory placodes will form components of the ear, eye and nose. The early heart produces a large ventral prominence and begins to pump blood. The neural tube forms a brain and spinal cord and begins to close from the centre outward in a process called neurulation. The pharyngeal arches begin to develop and eventually will form parts of the head and neck. Each arch contains an artery, cartilages, a nerve and a muscular component. In this week, rapid growth causes folding of the embryo. On days 22 to 23, the embryo is straight or slightly curved and there are typically 4 to 12 pairs of somites. The neural tube is forming or is formed opposite the somites, but it is widely open at the rostral and caudal neuropores. At the rostral end, the first and second pairs of pharyngeal arches are visible. The ventral part of the first arch gives rise to the mandible, and a dorsal portion of the arch, the maxillary prominence, contributes to the maxilla. On days 24 to 25, the embryo is more curved due to the head and tail folds, and there are around 13 to 20 pairs of somites. The rostral neuropore is closing, but the caudal end is still widely open. At the rostral end, the otic placos become visible. These will become components of the ear, and the optic vesicles that will become components of the eyes have formed as well. On days 26 to 27, the embryo is lengthening and curving even more, and there are 21 to 29 pairs of somites. The rostral neuropore is closed, and the caudal neuropore is continuing to close. There are three pairs of pharyngeal arches visible. The heart prominence is distinct, and the otic pits are present. The upper limb buds appear during these two days. On day 28, the embryo has a distinct C-shaped curve, and there are 30 to 35 pairs of somites. The caudal neuropore is closed and there are four pairs of pharyngeal arches visible. At the rostral end, the otic vesicles and lens placodes are distinct. The lower limb buds appear near the caudal region.